In March 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic brought learning to a screeching halt worldwide, creating the most severe global education disruption in history. This had caused many schools to close and thousands of learners to discontinue their education. Amidst these trying times, educators perceived COVID-19 to present education and learning with a unique challenge to further define their nature and purpose against the backdrop of the current highly volatile context and to fulfill an important, concretely transformative role to educate the learners and prepare them for their future. This aspiration led schools to continue providing quality education to learners through distance learning. It was not an easy change for teachers and students. Nevertheless, we were but successful in this endeavor, as we can finally witness the graduates and completers reap the fruit of their hard and determined labor. To rightfully begin our ceremonies, may I request everyone to stand for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. God is truly great that He blessed us and made this day possible. In this light, let us ask the Divine Providence for His imploring aid. Please remain standing for the doxology to be led by Precious Anne M. Jukutan of Grade 12 MVP.
Most Reverend Roberto O. Gaadidi, Bishop of Novaliches and Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Reverend Father Albert N. Delvo, Ph.D., Episcopal Vicar for Catholic Education, Roman Catholic Diocese of Novaliches. Superintendent Director, RCBNES. Vice Directors, Ms. Osmunda L. Pineda, Curriculum and Instruction Consultant. Ms. Regina Cecilia G. Molina, Finance Officer. Faculty and Staff, Esteemed Parents, Beloved Senior High School Graduates and Junior High School Completers. Ladies and Gentlemen, Good afternoon and welcome to the graduation and completion ceremonies. Graduation and completion are momentous events of promotion, a time of finishing and an ending. However, it is also a time for celebration and a glimpse of a new beginning. Today, we are all witnesses to the graduates and completers as they move forward into a new world leaving behind friends, teachers, and old ways. It is with so much honor to see our students, the graduates and completers, as they take the next step of their lifelong adventure with dignity and pride. And so, to give us her welcome remarks, and as well as to present the candidates for graduation and completion, let us welcome our endeared curriculum and instruction consultant, Ms. Osmunda El Pineda. This will be followed by the confirmation of graduates from our respected Superintendent Director, Reverend Father Albert N. Delvo, Ph.D. His Excellency, Most Reverend Roberto Olga Ardidi, Bishop of Navaliches. Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Reverend Father Albert N. Delvo, Ph.D., Episcopal Vicar for Catholic Education, Roman Catholic Diocese of Novaliches, Superintendent, Director, RCBNES, Vice Directors, our Finance Officer, Mrs. Regina Molina, our Parents, Guardians, Learners, Teachers, Good Afternoon, and welcome to today's graduation and completion ceremonies. This academic year has truly been a very unusual one to say the least. It has presented unexpected challenges that called for creativity, ingenuity, even unorthodox responses. Who would have thought that such a small thing, this virus unseen by the naked eye, can cause so much disruption? uncertainty, even despair in so many people's lives and livelihood. But amid all this negativity, the challenges presented opportunities for people to give love, compassion, selflessness, caring, kindness, and hope. So this is my message to you, dear learners at Inanang Buhay Catholic School. This situation we are all in shall pass. Let us therefore embrace instead positivity, optimism, and hope. I would like to quote from a stunning ad's message to the human race. For every act of selfishness, there are thousands of selfless ones. For every border that shuts, there are horizons of hope. For every virus, there is a vaccine in positivity. For optimism is more contagious than any contagion. For everything that divides, the human spirit unites. Today's celebration is one such example of human perseverance, hope, and optimism. We are here to congratulate the learners who have strived to successfully pass and move up to the next grade level. We are also here to give due recognition to the boys and girls who have persevered this school year to attain high grades and deserve the medals to be bestowed upon them today. A well-deserved one, I must say, for the long hours you have spent toiling over your lessons, examinations, and projects, despite the challenges presented by the online classes. 
but I'd like to give a gentle reminder for you, dear learners, that the purpose of our stay in the learning halls of Inanang Buhay Catholic School is not just the pursuit of academic excellence. I repeat my message in past graduation rites that our overarching purpose here as it is in life is for our learners to become living examples of the love of Jesus. As Archbishop Socrates Villega said, love is our identity as Christians. As Jesus, our great teacher, who gave his life for us, taught us, I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. We, your teachers and mentors at Alnanang Buhay Catholic School, urge you to continue to pursue your dreams in good times and in bad. Relentlessly hurdle the challenging or the challenges that you encounter along the way. You will surely reap the fruits of your labor in God's time. And as you do, never forget to be beacons of light, hope, and love amid these dark times and uncertainty. For that is who we are as Christians. Good day and God bless us all. Reverend Father Albert N. Delvo, PhD, it is my pride and honor to present to you the candidates for graduation and completion of Inanang Buhay Catholic School for the school year 2020-2021. From the grade 10 level, we have 41 boys and 41 girls. From the grade 12 level, we have 41 boys and 30 girls. These students have successfully completed all the academic requirements under the K-12 curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education. Reverend Father Albert, we are now ready for your confirmation. The notification coming from our beloved curricular consultant and dear principal, Mama Simonda Pineda, that you have completed the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education in the aspects of junior high school curriculum and senior high school curriculum and by virtue of the authority vested upon me by Most Reverend Roberto Oga Adidi, Bishop of Novariches and Chairman of the Board of Trustees, I, in my capacity as Superintendent Director, confirm your promotion to grade, grade 11 and your promotion to college or to work or entrepreneurial activities. Today, the 21st day of May in the year of our Lord 2021. Congratulations. Mamos Mona Pineda and Mom Cecil Molina, our finance officer, valued father members, equally valued parents and beloved learners, Good morning. The theme for our commencement exercises is sustaining Catholic education in times of disruption. This is very appropriate and very inspiring theme for us to reflect upon. What does Inanambuhay do or what has it done? over the period of one school year for the sake of these learners. In Anangbuhay, through our faculty members and school officials and employees, have educated your children. They have provided essential and relevant knowledge to your children to grow in the mind. They have honed their skills and increased their capabilities to perform with their hands. And most of all, our faculty members have formed 
the hearts of these children according to the values and virtues of Christ, namely faith in God, love of others, empathy, gratitude, respect, honesty, discipline, tenacity, and many more. So here at Inanang Buhay, you, dear learners who have just finished junior high school and graduates now positioned to go into college, you have received good education. And on top of that, good formation of the heart, good formation in faith and values. So sustain Catholic education. Keep the lights burning. What lights am I referring to? The light of faith, the light of hope, the light of truth, and the light of love. Keep them burning in times of disruption. By disruption, I mean times of COVID. COVID-19 has created a situation and condition that is rather hard, difficult, problematic, and challenging. But we have somehow navigated ourselves successfully. Why? Because disruption is also to be understood as golden time, golden opportunity, time of grace, period in t- of time during which we have grown individually and communally. We have grown and developed. We have become more mature and we have been transformed. We are better equipped for the challenges that lie ahead. So dear completers and graduates, move forward, strain forward. You have been equipped with knowledge, with skills, and with values. In an ambuhay, through its faculty members, employees, and school officials, has enriched your life and enhanced you as persons and as Christians. Congratulations! God bless you in the many, many years that lie ahead. Babuhay kay love. Thank you, Ma'am T and Father Albert. And now, let us welcome His Excellency, Most Reverend Roberto O. Gaadidi, Bishop of Novaliches, Chairman of the Board of Trustees, for his inspirational message. I would like to greet all the stakeholders of the RCBN, ES, uh, the students, the parents, the school administration, the teachers, all these stakeholders have been able to hurdle 2020 2021 school year. And it has been difficult because there has there has to be a lot that there were a lot of adapt adaptations that we have to do for us to cope and to continue to thrive. And I congratulate the soul system for having having hurdled this uh, daunting task. Uh, first of all, I'd like to greet the students, those who will graduate, those who will be recognized. Uh, it is just but a testament that you're able to adapt to situations. To, to continue to learn, even if situations are very different, even if there is difficulty in the conditions. Uh, we continue to adapt and learn to uh, progress in our desire to learn. To our parents, there is also a challenge for parents how to accompany their children. It is not for parents to do everything for the sake of their children, to do their assignments, but it is also uh, being able to step back a little 
and be proud of their children as they continue to struggle and maybe even accomplish the tasks that were demanded of them. And for the school administration to be able to manage the different challenges uh, cropping up left and right, uh, the different challenges in not only in, in uh, how to transmit the modules, but being able to, to gauge are the students learning, uh, are the students being able to adapt to the different situations, and maybe even to the teachers, that they're able to teach in a different kind of instrument. It is really 2000, the school year 2020-2020 has been a great challenge. And, uh, for us to be able to hear it is a testament of our capacity to adapt, to learn, to learn new things, to learn from our mistakes. Uh, but there will be greater challenges in the future. Uh, we have learned to adapt to uh, the new technologies. We have learned to adapt the new instruments of teaching, the new methodologies. But there will be more challenges ahead of us. And being consistent now is the name of the game. Consistent and being able to adapt to the changes. I congratulate you for being able to adapt. But I also challenge you to be consistent in, in not only the goals of teaching, but also goals of assessing. Whether our students, our learners are really able to pick up the modules that we are able to transmit. So kudos to Father Albert, to the administration, uh, kudos to uh, the teachers, the parents, most especially the students. God bless you. Thank you, Bishop Gaa. Your words will always remain an inspiration to us. And now, let us welcome Ms. Precious A. Diaz, Executive Secretary and HR Officer of RCBNES, to introduce the school personnel for the school year 2020-2021. Thank you, Sir Drew. Good afternoon, beloved learners, parents, and guardians. Let me take this great opportunity to acknowledge the hardworking personnel, faculty members, and administration officials of Inanang Buhay Catholic School this academic year 2020-2021. Let me start with our maintenance personnel. We have Mr. Blair Agustin. Mr. Ryan Positar, Positar, Sir Greg Tamayo, Sir Marlon Colangoy, Mr. Wilfredo Marundan Jr., our head maintenance. Our non-academic, non-teaching personnel, Mr. Hill Gerald Geronimo, our cashier. Personnel, we have Ma'am Sherry Rose Brunyosa. Our academic teaching personnel, we have Ma'am Chini Ann Angeles, school nurse. Ma'am Princess Regine Andres, librarian. Our faculty members, we have Ma'am Rosefer de la Cruz, Kinder to Grade 2 Team Leader. Ma'am Janine Cristo, Kinder Our Lady of Perpetual Health Advisor. Ma'am Janine Dilaw, 
Grade 1, Our Lady of Medjugorje Advisor. Ma'am Ivy Rose Peligro, Grade 2, Queen of Apostle Advisor. Ma'am Joanne Arizala, our special teacher. We also have Sir Lindon Kaibigan, our Grade 3 to Grade 6 team leader. Ma'am Princess Marie France Carolino, Grade 3 Mother of Good Shepherd Advisor. Sir Jerome Inocean, Grade 4 Our Lady of Annunciation Advisor. Ma'am Rachel Salinas, Grade 5 Queen of Peace Advisor. Mr. Joshua Arceo, our Grade 5 Queen of Family Advisor. Ma'am Christine Obalies, Special Teacher. Sir Marlon Balano, Grade 6 Mother of the Redeemer Advisor. Ma'am Crisanta Martinez, Grade 6 Mother of Christ Advisor. Ma'am Annalyn Leonor, Grade 7 to Grade 9 Team Leader. Ma'am Janine Christine Kelyang, Grade 7, Our Lady of Mediatrics Advisor. Ma'am Jessa Conlingo, Grade 7, Our Lady of Good Voyage Advisor. Ma'am Maria May Tolosa, Grade 8, Our Lady of Holy Trinity Advisor. Ma'am Joanne V. Tomas, Grade 8, Our Lady of Mercy Advisor. Ma'am Ira Marie Fulion, Grade 9, Our Lady of Blessed Sacrament Advisor. Sir Eric Castaño, Grade 9, Our Lady of Compassion Advisor. Ma'am Christelle Chiradi Marundan, Grade 10 to Senior High School Team Leader. Sir Jeric M. Corona, Grade 10, Mary Mother of Advocate Advisor. Our Subject Area Coordinators, we have Sir Raby Mart Kamit, English Coordinator, Newsletter Advisor, and Grade 12, Mary Virgin of the Poor Advisor. Ma'am Carla Fresco, EPPTLE and Filipino Coordinator, and Grade 11, Mary Mother of Jesus Christ Advisor. Ma'am Mary Joyce Torres, Araling Panlipunan and MAPE Coordinator and Grade 10 Mary Mother of Protection Advisor. 
Ma'am Mary Ann Lorraine Ibrau, Christian Catholic Formation Coordinator and Grade 2 Queen of Patriarch Advisor. Ma'am Liza May Francisco, Mathematics Coordinator and Grade 11 Mary Mother of Our Savior Advisor. Ma'am Rachel Cruzado, Science Coordinator and Grade 12 Mary Immaculate Conception Advisor. Sir Ruel Andrew Resho, Online Learning Coordinator and Senior High School Coordinator. Ma'am Sheila C. Agulto, Registrar, Secretary to the Principal and PCB Advisor. Our school officials, we have Ma'am Regina Cecilia Molina, Finance Officer. Ma'am Osmunda L. Pineda, Curriculum and Instruction Consultant. And yours truly, Ms. Precious Alfonso Diaz, RCBNES Executive Secretary and Human Resource Officer. Dr. Karina G. Dakanay, Vice Director for Curriculum and Instruction. Reverend Father Ralph Mesto Samente, Inanong Buhay Parish Priest and Member of the Board of Trustees. Reverend Father Christopher V. Santos, RCBNES Vice Director for Finance. Reverend Father Noel B. Elorde, Ph.D., RCBNES Vice Director for Catholic Christian Formation. Reverend Father Albert N. Delvo, Ph.D., RCBNES Superintendent and Director of Diocesan Schools. And Most Reverend Roberto Oga Adidi, Bishop of Novaliches and Chairman of the Board of Trustees. They are the competent individuals who tirelessly and unselfishly work with zeal, tenacity, and grace to teach all our learners, their teachers, Thank you for the exemplary dedication and vibrant effort you have generously shared to our students. Beloved students, I now encourage you to write down below your words of appreciation to our teachers and school officials. Thank you, stay safe, and remain connected. God bless us all. Thank you, Ma'am Precious. At this juncture, we will now proceed to the presentation and recognition of graduates and completers. Thank you, Ma'am Precious. At this juncture, we will now proceed to the presentation and recognition of graduates and completers.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pride and honor to present to you the completers from Grade 10, Mary Mother of Advocate. Asser Den, Francis Johan F. Adolfo, Yancy Harold P. Ag Kawili, Errol B. Concepcion, Mark Daniel D. Dizon, David Cole J. Dokot, Christian Andre T. Garcia, Miguel Jeremy B. Garcia, Vince R. Jose Fons, Andre Miguel B. Laban, Lance John Patrick D. Mendoza, Vince J. Menegiado, Zach Jervis M. Pasamba, Kyle Raven J. Rebaila, Christian Dave L. Rica Forte, Leo Angelo B. Salim, Kyle Riley A. Salonga, Kurt Michael Sigubre, Leo L. Agresor, Irish Shane S. Co, Natalie Angela F. Galimba, Shaira Francesca C. Moreno, Kianesha Haley C. Quintana, Bernadette B. Rudil, Will Samantha A. B. Salamero, Mary Faye P. Sorio, Janelle Omioji L. Velasquez, Gertrude B. Lopez, Simon Lemuel C. Most. Hamburg. De La Cruz, Carl Justin J. Most Respectful. Untalan, Clara Vera C. Most Trustworthy with Honors. Mabini, Christine Jane C. With Honors. Serrano, Samantha B. With honors. Ramos, Franco Inigo F. With honors. Quintos, Luis Maisy D. With honors. 
Basamba, Cassandra Jersey D. Reeve Honors. Pineda, Angel May A. Reeve Honors. De Leon, Gabriel R. Most Amiable Reeve Honors. Loshano, Andrea Mariel D. Reeve Honors. Ebunya, Frederick Anthony S. Reeve Honors. Saison, Julia May L. Reeve High Honors. Kizan, Quincy Fatima L. Outstanding Performance in Arts with High Honors. Vida, Daniel Nino B. Most Exuberant. Outstanding Performance in Science, Mathematics, and Communication Arts with High Honors. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations! With so much pride and honors to present to you the completers for Grade 10 Mary Mother for Protection. Antonio Leonardo C. Ejarte Bijorn Erich Lawrence R. Eusebio Mark Joseph M. Gocheres Mark Louis J. Lorenzo Matthew Mary M. Montero Andre Ken B. Ocampo Kaiser Kairos. Pasco Christian Paolo F. Pocas Prince Isaiah M. Rodriguez Marcus Andre Philip B. Santos Gabriel Raymond M. Taupa Maverick DJ. Tubaon Kim J. T. Urbano Adrian Joshua M. Acuna Dana Isabel R. Fiel Eileen D. Maneja Lirabel Denise L. Mendoza Christian Marie F. Reyes Carla May Lizelle B. Ferrer John Brian L. with honors. Kusi Rona May M with honors. Arola Dayan M with honors. Celarde Francine May B with honors. Tangarukan Crystal Fate A with honors. Sena Diana May M with honors. Valdez Marikan Pay a with honors. Abianza Chelsea Diane T. Most amiable with honors. Arias Winona We L with honors. Maestro Kezaya Me T. Most humble with honors. Sunga Aliana U. Most respectful with honors. Asuncion Mariela L. With honors. Del Rosario Jenica With honors. Novello Ian Rubik A. With honors. Padohino Julia Jasmine T. With honors. 
Velasco Iana Chantel C. Reed Honors. Uy Alexa Ken F. Reed Honors. Gonzales K. B. With High Honors. Mostasa Eunice Juliana Most Trustworthy with High Honors. Ligon John Lee M. Most Exuberant Outstanding Performance in Social Sciences with High Honors. And Miranda Roselle Angela A. with High Honors. Thank you and congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pride and honor to present to you the graduates of Grade 12 Mary Immaculate Conception, Batch 2020-2021. Agresor Mark Aaron S. Balbiro John Erickson S. Loyalty Awardee. Balcos Sester Brian F. Kakayan Jimuel A. Loyalty Awardee. Kalingasan Bridge Jefferson A. Campos Gian Raven F. Kayabyab Lance Benjamin, Loyalty Award. El Mundo Jimuel E. Enriquez Kenshi F. Gupit Marinel G. Huviso Gil Dominic A. Loyalty Award. Jose John Briggs F. Lord John Aaron M. Loyalty Award. Mariano Josh Michael T. Padre E. Erwin Jr. P. Perpenosas Levensley P. Kilicon Rod Stewart P. Salibio John Carlos C. Santos Gwen Aldre C. Sarita Zobel R. Tubaon Kinet Al T. Hernandez Juliana Francine A. Soriano Hana Misha V. Tanteo Mariel C. Vargas Pauline Andrea S. Palconan Markron B. Most Humble. Arsenas Jean Andre White. Most Exuberant with Honors. Makaraeg Aliyo John C. Most Amiable. Outstanding Performance in Social Sciences with Honors. Agnes Jeru Ezra. Most Trustworthy with Honors. Santos Trisha May M. Most Respectful with Honors. Francisco Timothy F. Outstanding Performance in Mathematics with Honors. Congratulations! Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It is my greatest pride and I'm very much proud to present to you the graduates of Grade 12, Mary Virgin of the Poor. Starting with Agustin Kyle Angelo T. Baguhin Yuri T. Piedor Nicolas Remar P. Credo Sac Ezekiel S. Daza Ayan Ezekiel M. Daza Ivan Denzel M. Faustino Mariano E. Gumabon John Jericho. Lugid Ariel M. Rivera Michael Angelo. Ronan Jason. Ursunal Mark D. Evangelista Shannon Gabriel L. Faustino Maria Claudia Joy E. 
Gabo Julia Maurice B. Mercado Catherine Eunice B. Orola Christine M. Pring Bea Angela T. Loyalty Awardee. Quintana Bernalyn B. Rehensha Maria Angeline S. Solomon Daniela Shane I. Tawag Francesca Therese SD. Loyalty Awardee. Buwado Joseph P. Most Humble. Rolida Sheila May T. Most Respect. Villanueva Jemmy M. Most Trustworthy Karandang Mandy May C. With Honors Quintos Isabella A. With Honors Yap Lord Vincent Ryan G. With Honors Acosta Mary Christian A. With honors, De La Cruz, Dracelyn Macy, with honors, Cabriana, Serena, Alexandra I, with honors, Paddy, Kyla, Dorothy A, with honors, Labuto and Maria Giselle Shira D, with honors and loyalty awardee. Soledad, Felicity Ann F. With honors. Manatlao, Erin G. With honors. San Diego, Ruena, Therese A. With honors. Most amiable and loyalty awardee. Jukutan, Precious M. With honors and loyalty awardee. Guevara, Christine Joyce F. With honors. Outstanding performance in communication arts. Eliano, France A. With honors. Outstanding performance in science and class valedictorian. And Tan Roque Jr. A. With honors. Outstanding performance in arts. Most exuberant and this year's Bishop's Awardee. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all our graduates and completers. May you always bear with you the wisdom and values which your teachers have inculcated in you. And now, let us listen to Franz A. Eliano of Grade 12 MBP. Grade 12 class valedictorian as he delivers with pride his valedictory address. Let us welcome him with a big hand. To His Excellency, Most Reverend Roberto O. Gaadidi, Bishop of Nobaliches, Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Reverend Father Albert and Delbo, PhD, Episcopal Vicar for the Catholic Education, Roman Catholic Diocese of Nobaliches, Superintendent Director, RCBNES. RCBNES Vice Directors, our Curriculum and Instruction Consultant, Ms. Esmunda El Pineda, our Finance Officer, Ms. Regina Cecilia G. Molina, Teaching and Unteaching Staff, our Families, Friends, and Fellow Graduates of Batch 2021. Good afternoon. Today is the awaited milestone that we've longed for. A day to be thankful, a day to be inspired. We have so much to be grateful for. For one, our parents, who for these past few decades had always been there to support us through the ups and downs. There are many people who had helped us in our journey that I won't be able to enumerate you one by one. But what I can say is that we are all grateful for all of you. We know that you're all proud of us and that we thank you for that. We would not be here at this stage without all of you. And with that, after all those days wondering if we would actually make it to the end, finally, 
the time came marking the summit of our journey. We've experienced a lot, learned, had fun, and most of all, together, we became the amazing and mature people that we are now. I am very honored to be part of a batch, of a truly outstanding batch that had achieved so much. But of course today is not all about nostalgia and memories of the past, as today is also about looking forward towards the turning point of our lives. That after all those years spent wandering the halls of Ina ng Buhay, we are now ready to move on. Hereafter, our lives will hold many surprises for us. We will start over, meet new people, make new friends, and learn new things. The treacherous unknown of the future may seem frightening, looming over like an ominous fog slowly approaching. But remember that beyond is a light, is a light that I'm sure we'd be able to reach. Let us not forget the wisdom and morals that we have built through the years. Continue to learn dahil lamang ang may alam, and continue to do good dahil ang pagiging mabuti ay katumbas ng tagumpay. As I recall the faces of my fellow batchmates, I no longer see these people as they were. Instead, what I see are among the successful individuals that will change the world for the better. I know that we all possess capabilities that will allow us to become the next decade's greatest entrepreneurs, doctors, scientists, contributing to the fabric of the future one way or another. The friendships and families that we have made during our stay here will surely last a lifetime. And in the same way that we have supported and helped each other succeed through the years, I hope that we'll be able to continue providing support and encouragement for one another in our future endeavors. Fellow batchmates, let us never allow the world's definition of what is possible keep us from achieving what we want to achieve. Dream big until those dreams become a reality. Don't stop until we reach the mountain top. Aim high, Inanam Buhay. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, friends. May your words serve as an inspiration to all of us here. Let us witness the graduates as they pronounce their pledge of loyalty to their alma mater. To take the lead is Skyla Dorothy A. Paddy of Grade 12 MDP. We, the graduates of Batch 2021, do heritage so of the Pledge our own lasting love and for loyalty to our alma mater in Nanyu Mohai Catholic School. From common sense knowledge, happy skills, which I am blessed and our with class We We promise to remain true to her ideals, to her clientele, and to her traditions. We shall always be the word to behave in such a manner and shall show our voter name and glory. Thus proving ourselves for the citizen in the service of God, our country, our parliament, and our alma mater, so to have you done. At this point, let us listen to the graduates as they sing with pride their graduation song. I can almost see it, that dream I'm dreaming But there's a voice inside my head saying You'll never reach it Every step I'm taking Every move I may feel is lost with no direction My fate is shaken But I, I gotta keep trying Gotta keep my head held high there's always gonna be another mountain I'm always gonna wanna make it move Always gonna be an uphill battle Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose Ain't about how fast I get there Ain't about what's waiting on the other side It's the cloud Cause 
struggles I'm facing, the chances I'm taking, sometimes might knock me down, but no, I'm not breaking. I may not know it, but these are the moments that I'm gonna remember most. Yeah. Just gotta keep going and die. I gotta be strong. Just keep pushing on. Cause there's always gonna be another mountain. I'm always gonna wanna make it move. Always gonna be an uphill battle. Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose. Ain't about how fast I get there. Ain't about what's waiting on the other side It's There's always gonna be another mountain I'm always gonna wanna make it move Always gonna be an uphill battle Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose Ain't about how fast I get there Ain't about what's written on the other side It's the climb It's all about, it's all about the blind Keep your faith, keep your faith Whoa. Thank you, dear graduates. As we come to the end of our graduation and promotion ceremonies, let us not forget to thank the Almighty God for all the blessings He has bestowed upon us. With this, may I call on Daniel Nino B. Vida of Grade 10 MMA to lead the closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father, we once again lift our hearts to you with joy and full of thanksgiving for the success of this momentous event. Without you, things would have been different. We pray that you would continually bless us as we move forward to the next chapter of our lives. With you, things would become possible no matter how difficult or challenging they may seem to be. With confidence, we entrust ourselves and dreams unto you. This we pray through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, in union with the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Mary, Mother of Life, pray for us. Keep Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. As we finally end our program, let us witness the graduates and completers, dignified and noble, as they sing the Alma Mater hymn and the RCBNES hymn. If you lose my 
It is truly a blessing to witness another life-changing event such as what we had today. And it is because of all the people who were behind the success of this momentous event. And so I would like to take this opportunity to thank our beloved school officials, faculty, and non-teaching staff, the graduates and completers for their persevering efforts, and to their parents for their unending love and support. Before I finally end up, let me share with you some words of inspiration. As John Wesley says, Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can. This has been your program host, Sir Drew Resho. See you again in the next year's commencement exercises. Congratulations to all the graduates and completers, and God bless us all.